This video is part of a tutorial where I show you how to light and composite this shot inside Maya and Nuke. If you want to check it out, click in the link in the description below. So in this video, I'm gonna fix the shoulder uh, lighting. It's looking quite uh, strong, this light, but I cannot uh, uh, dim it down or I will affect also the face, which I don't want. So I'm gonna try to do a mask, but instead of using the roto, I'm gonna mask it with the relight node. So in order to do this, I'm gonna create a position to point and I'm gonna connect it to the beauty render. Um, also, I'm gonna have to change the surface point and select uh, the position pass which is the PPAOV and the surface normal to normal AOV. Now, if we go to the 3D view, we can see that there is a 3D representation of our image. Uh, we're, now, we're not going to use this for a final composition, but we're going to use this in order to have a reference for our lights. So I'm going to create this light and now have a, like an accurate representation of where the light is going to be. So I'm going to merge these together in one scene and uh, position the light so that it will uh, only have light information in the areas that I want to be seen in the, in the mask. So gonna go right to the face, gonna change to a spotlight and I'm gonna tweak the position and rotation change the Y rotation to 180 I'm just gonna move it around Okay, I'm gonna change the cone angle. And now we're starting to see some information in the face. Excellent. Now I want to uh, just cover the face, not the shoulder. So I'm gonna bring this forward. And Try not to affect the body at all. Okay, I think I'm just hitting the face now. There you go. Now I'm going to create a real light node and I'm going to plug. Uh, the color, I'm gonna make a point here, and put the color from the beauty and the light from the our new light here, the light that we have created. So first of all, I think I have to change to the normal for the vectors and the positions to the POVs again. And now I can input the light. Now I can see that there's the, the creature is there but I'm still missing uh, the camera so I can import the same camera that we imported from the cache, the LMB camera uh, that we used in inside Maya. So I can erase this node and uh, we'll keep the camera. I'm gonna plug the camera in the relight node. And now I'm, the only thing missing is the material. So I'm gonna create a fong material. And uh, input it to the relight node. Now, as you can see, we have a black and white uh, image that we can trick by moving around the light or changing its parameter its parameters and uh, we can use this information in order to mask 
uh, one of the multi lights. So uh, we can play around and uh, with the values of the lights, but I think it's, uh, it's achieving what I wanted, which is only covering the the face, the left side of the face. Try to improve the position of it. If we go back to the 2v, 2D mode, now we can see that um, it's affecting more the, the face of it. Okay. Now I'm going to have to uh, input this new image new uh, into the into the pipe so I'm going to create a shuffle copy node again and connect the one input to the relight node try to organize this a little bit Now I'm gonna create a new uh, new channel. Name it um, gonna call it uh, shoulder uh, mask. Gonna create the RGBA. Sorry, not the the alpha. So the three channels. And if we go uh, to this uh, new created channel and uh, obviously map the RG and B, we're gonna see that we the new channel contains the information from the relight node. Okay, now we can use this as a mask in order to uh, mask our individual multi light. So if I search for it, oh, this is not this one, and uh, we'll create another grade node. Now we'll uh, uh, reduce the gain completely, but I'm gonna mask this uh, this this uh, grade node with uh, the new created uh, mask. So I'm gonna invert it. Well, you can see that only the areas that are being lit by the by the nuke light are being uh, masked in the in the composition. So we see the difference now. The face only the face is standing out from from the from the final composition, and the shoulder is uh, much darker now. So we can adjust the intensity to increase that effect. Excellent. So the advantage of uh, using the relight node here is that we can create a mask that will uh, keep its position without affecting the the position of the of the elements around the scene, which is the opposite of what the UV pass was doing in the last lesson. So uh, if the monster or the creature comes. Uh, towards the light, this will create the, the mask effect. Great. I think it's looking pretty cool now. So we can uh, now move forward and add a little bit of uh, devil field and the motion blur to this image and, be, and start finalizing our composition. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and click in the link in the description below.